I'm going to teach you a word that you probably do not know. This area of the nose is called a columella, and this is the area when you tilt your head back, you can look and maybe get a sense of whether you have a deviated septum or not, like this woman is showing you in the previous video. While some people may be born with a deviated nasal septum, most people are at risk of developing this because of an injury to their face. Here's an obvious example of a deviated septum that you can see externally, but it's not always obvious. Here's an example of a deviated septum that it looks like on a CT scan where they're taking slices this way and then you see what the nasal septum is in the middle there separating the nostrils. And so when you have this type of problem, it can be more pronounced if you have conditions such as allergies that cause swelling of these turbinates here, these ridges that help humidify the air. And you do something called a nasal cycle where one nostril becomes more swollen compared to the other. And so if you've got that septal deviation going one way and you've got engorgement of tissues on the other side, it can become very difficult to breathe, especially at night, and that can decrease your sleep quality. If you're concerned that you have a deviated septum, you should see an ear, nose, and throat physician to have a consultation about whether or not you need septoplasty, which is surgical correction of this issue.